Hello and welcome to our garage. It's a cold and rainy day here today, as you can see. So I thought I would take a few minutes to go over some of the modifications that I've made to the Shelby. You may have noticed that I've already put the Shelby on the battery tender. Uh, just did that today. Um, of course, I can always take it right off. If it's a nice day, warms up enough that I want to get it out during the winter. Um, and there will be a few days like that here in Tennessee. We're not snowbound by any means. So let me show you a couple of the modifications that I've made. Uh, none of them are very big, just little things. I, uh, this is the first modification that I did. The car comes with an ugly yellow air filter and Ford Performance makes this blue one. And since the car has blue stripes, I decided, well, maybe the Ford Performance air filter will be a little better. Um, but more importantly, it'll look better. Uh, as you can see, the other accent colors, not very many in here, but all, pretty much all of them are blue. And so I just thought that looked better in the engine compartment. And it goes with the blue stripes on the car. So that was the first modification I made. Um, obviously the windows have been tinted. That's 20% on the sides and rear and 70% on the front because I still want to see it at night. And if we go inside, you'll see the third modification, which is the gear shift knob. This is a Shelby uh, Racing, Shelby America Racing gear shift knob. Uh, it's got reverse and one through six. It's got the logo on both sides. This Carol Shelby logo. And it's got the stripes to match the stripes on the car. And for the next modification, we have to go into the trunk. There's my trunk button right here. And let's get out and go around back. Let me move some towels out of the way. I am going to remove that. Set that over here on the counter. And here is the modification. A spare tire. Now, for those of you that don't know, the GT350 does not come with a spare tire. It only comes with a little um, inflation kit. It's meant to repair your tire just enough to get you to a safe spot if you have a flat. Uh, I wasn't really comfortable with that, and there's a company that makes this uh, spare tire kit for the sh specifically for this car for it to fit over the incredibly large brakes that this car has. Let me get a good shot of the brakes there. But you can see that pretty well fills up this 19-inch wheel well. Um, so there's not a whole lot of room, and so most norm, most spare tires uh, would not go around um, the brake disc. So this company specifically makes this one to do that, but also to fit here inside the car. So that just makes me feel better. Um, if I have an issue on the road with a, with a flat tire, that I have a, have a tire put on there. And in the car, right here behind the driver's seat, I also keep a fire extinguisher. The towels are just there to keep things in place when I'm doing a little bit of spirited driving. And there is the tire pressure kit that originally came with the car back in the trunk. So I still have it in case I need it. But the idea of having the spare tire is that hopefully I won't need the tire pressure kit. So, oh, there's my umbrella I was looking for. Lovely. Okay, so let's see how many mods that, that is. That's the air filter, tinted windows, gear shift knob, spare tire. Uh, I guess the fifth one technically, even though this is probably the smallest of the lot. Have little caps with the Cobra lo logo on them. Get a good shot of that, maybe. Sorry, my wheels are really dusty. They're always dusty. That's the uh, 
Bad thing about performance still brakes. So that's it as far as modifications on the GT350. Uh, not much, no performance mods other than the air filter, which is not really a performance mod as far as I know, not much of one. Um, I considered very seriously sending the car off to Fat House Performance and either having the 800R or the 1000R twin turbo uh, package done. Um, and if I did that, I probably would not have gotten the M2 um, because quite frankly, they're about the same price. And so you have the, you have to, you have to weigh that, at least I did. Whereas I could have spent, you know, $70,000 on this car and never gotten that money back. Um, but that would have been okay because I probably would never sell the car anyways. Or I could spend $70,000 on this car, uh, which is going to depreciate but it'll never be worth zero, uh, at least not for as long as I'll keep it. Um, I'll, get my, I'll get some money out of it when I sell it one of these days. So uh, it just seemed like the better decision was to get another daily, um, something that I would enjoy daily driving uh, in, instead of the pickup truck that I was driving and keep this car more original. We do have a custom plate. It stands for flat plane, which is a flat plane crank shaft that is in the uh, motor. Um, I believe this car has it, the new Z06 has it. Uh, I believe one of the Ferraris has it. I'm not sure if it was the 488 maybe, or I think, it, or maybe the 458, one of those. Um, not very many cars have that, and that get, that's one of the things that gives this Voodoo engine its unique sound, unique tone, uh, especially when you're in the high revs up to 7,500, 8,000 RPMs. Sounds really good. One thing I almost forgot to show you is when you take a gear shift knob out of a car, at least in the Shelby, there's a very good chance you're gonna to have to destroy it to get it out, which I did have to do. So the original gear shift knob is destroyed, but I did manage to find a original OEM online. Uh, I got this from Ford parts, I think. Well, obviously, Ford parts. So this is the original gear shift knob for the Shelby GT350. As you can see, it's not round like the one I have in there now. It's a little slightly different shape, different color. This is a leather material. You see it kind of curves forward a little bit when you have it sitting in the car. It's facing forward in that direction. See the stitching on the front. It's a nice gear shift knob. I mean, it feels good in the hand. Um, it just didn't really match the aesthetics of the rest of the car in my case. But I, I did want to have an original uh, in case I ever sold the car that I would have it uh, to give to the new buyer in case they wanted to take the one out that I put in there and, and make it original again. So. There you go, the original gear shift knob in the Shelby GT350. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe.